Hi, everybody. Just wanted to read one more time, Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. And then I'm gonna tell you about some activities that went home with the book. If you haven't gotten the book, you'll be getting it soon. Let's read first. Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Uh-oh, look what happened to one of the buttons. I got a popper button here too. Boing, boing, boing. Let's see what happens. Do you guys remember what happens in this book? Colorful pages. Oh, bright red for the title page. Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with his four big colorful round groovy buttons. He loved his button so much, he sang this song. Do you guys remember the song? Sing it with me. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop! Oh, here comes our pop button. Pop! Oh, no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Ah, three. Four minus one equals three. Do you see how many buttons on his shirt now? Did Pete cry? Goodness no, buttons come and buttons go. How do you think he's feeling? He doesn't cry. My but he kept on singing, my buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. <gasps> what do you think happens next? Pop! Oh no, another button popped off and rolled away. And how many are left? Two. Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no buttons come and buttons go. He kept singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Now Pete had just bought ice cream. What kind of a day do you think he's having? What do you think? What do you think? Is he having a good day? Is he letting it bother him? Oh, but what happened? Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. Now how many buttons are left? One. Two minus one equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Pop! Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? You think so? And where is he at? Is he at the beach? Have you ever been to the beach before? Zero. One minus one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? <laughs> you guys remember? His belly button! And he kept singing his song. It says, it's all good here. And he sang a song. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no, we keep on singing. Buttons come and buttons go. Look at all those boing buttons. All right. So I wanted to share with you guys, too, your activities you can do here. 
You can use the shirt and take off the buttons as you tell the story. Put them all on there and take one off when you get to three buttons and to two buttons. Or you can put some under the shirt and say there are two on the shirt. How many are under the shirt? And we would have two and change that up. That's a great activity to do. The buttons aren't all round in these act in, in your bag, so you can talk about the shapes of the buttons. And you can hide them and find them and take turns doing that. And always count. So let's count backwards now, count down. So we have four, three, two, one. Hey, I hope you have fun with these activities and reading the story. See you guys later. Bye.